Now, here's the other cool part. He's got a bird brain. He has a tiny little brain, and yet it has all that capacity. You've probably heard of people who have lost huge chunks of their brain and they reprogram and they seem to get by. Parrots like Alex suggest that you can get by with very little brain if it's oriented correctly. So imagine if I took a species like an African gray and I modified certain elements of genetic code to cause its brain to be somewhat larger, somewhat more glucose consuming, so it has more energy, and then also to have more folds. They're very smooth brain. What if I could have, we, we know that folded brain tissue and the high density that it creates on the neuronal surface is very good for intelligence. Like, could you make an African gray that is able to have a normal human level conversation? I, I think it's actually very close to that. How many? Come on, can you tell me how many? Very good. What? <laughs> Two. We keep going. Can you tell me what's different? What's different? Color. Very Come on, what number color. is gray? What number is gray? Four. Very good. Holy good boy. shit. You're looking at intelligence that's on par by all of the traditional metrics with a human toddler, but with radically less brain tissue. 